Richard Benton est chercheur à la Faculté de Biologie et de Médecine de l'Université de Lausanne. Ce biologiste et son équipe sont soutenus par le Conseil européen de la recherche pour leurs travaux sur les mécanismes moléculaires de l'odorat de la drosophile. L'objectif de cette étude est de comprendre comment le cerveau de cette mouche utilise l'odorat pour adopter un comportement approprié face à son environnement. So we study the brain and the brain is perhaps the most complex biological organ. How do brains sense signals in the environment? How do they represent this information as neuronal activity? And how do they induce behaviors sophisticated and appropriate? Answering these questions helps us answer one of the biggest scientific mysteries of how brains actually work. So brains show enormous diversity between different species. Think of the brains of humans or mice or fish or insects. And this diversity arises because brains have evolved to control the behaviors of animals living in very different ecological niches. And our project is aimed at trying to understand the genetic basis by which brains have diversified during evolution. And we address this question by studying the neural circuits underlying the sense of smell of the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster, as well as, as well as some of its close cousins. These species show very different behaviors in response to odors in the environment, but their neural circuits and their genomes are rather close, so it's quite easy to pinpoint where and how their neural circuits have changed so that they respond in different ways to the same odor. Bien que le nez de la drosophile soit plus simple que le nôtre, la perception des odeurs chez ces insectes est similaire à celle des humains. Ce phénomène est visible dans l'organisation des circuits neuronaux et dans la façon dont ces derniers réagissent aux odeurs. Ce que nous apprend la drosophile peut donc aider à mieux comprendre les circuits neuronaux de cerveau plus complexes. So our project addresses fundamental questions in neurobiology. How brains are built, how they function and how they change over time. But this basic knowledge is key to understanding what goes wrong in neurological diseases which is a first step towards the development of appropriate treatments. But because we use the neural circuits underlying the sense of smell of Drosophila as our model system, our research can also help us understand and eventually control the odor-driven behaviors of pest insects. Par exemple, les découvertes de cette étude pourraient aider à combattre la mouche Suzuki, un ravageur qui s'attaque aux cultures de raisins et de fraises. Les résultats pourraient aussi contribuer à la lutte contre certaines maladies humaines. La malaria, la dengue ou la maladie du sommeil sont transmises par des insectes comme les moustiques et la mouche tsetse. Et ces insectes se fient à leur odorat pour trouver leur hôte. C'est donc grâce au soutien européen que des avancées scientifiques dans ce domaine sont rendues possibles, un soutien qui offre de nombreux avantages. First, it provides generous funding over five years, which allows us to have a long-term vision and attack important unsolved scientific questions. Second, it gives my group and our research topic a visibility, so I'm able to recruit excellent scientists from around the world who have training in diverse disciplines. And the visibility also allows us to communicate more effectively our research to a greater scientific and general public. <laughs>